Hi everybody! It's the end of the month so it's time to show you everything I coloured during July of 2023. July has gone by so fast this year, it's, I can barely believe it's the end of the month and I didn't seem to get all that much done. I didn't get around to half of what I actually wanted to do but I did get a few pictures done. I think there's enough to make a video so I'll show you the ones that I did manage to get done. My theme for the month was men which was based on the hashtag that's actually on Instagram and YouTube at the moment called Hot Guy Summer for Poet. It's started and kind of run by Poet Spice, um, her full name I'll put down in the description and a link to her channel, the video that goes with the tag. But the idea is, yeah, it's basically to colour hot guys. <laughs> so I just took men in general as my theme. Um, and this is the first guy that I coloured. This is from Sorceress and Sorceress's Special, Colouring Heaven by Nalaki Shumaka. There we go, this is the first guy that I coloured in. And as he was the first one that I started with in the month, I tried to keep him fairly simple. And I just did my usual marker base. I think he was with the Ohuhu markers. Um, he was. I just based pretty much everything with marker and just shaded on top with the pencil. There's a lot of metallic sharpie. Um, this is the copper metallic sharpie for these kind of tribal designs down the side there. There's some um, around the frame as well, and some around the, the outlines of these kind of wisps, sort of spirit kind of type creatures, I think, um, because they, they had really thick black lines around them and I wanted them to look a bit more kind of ethereal. So I went over the lines with the, with the silver Sharpie and uh, yeah, I thought that worked a lot better. But apart from that, he's, he's mainly the markers with I think it's my usual pencils the Arteza and the Castle Arts pencils just for shading there's a lot of white gel pen um, but he's got a white gel pen outline going on I was still in my phase of giving white gel pen outlines to everything but I think it worked quite well in here to separate all because it's mainly warm tones apart from his um, his blue kind of face paint there so to separate the tones I thought that white gel pen worked quite well and um, there's a lot of sparkles as well to show these kind of spirit creatures sparkling away and the, the potion bottles kind of tied to his staff a lot of white sparkles going on with the white gel pen so yeah he was a fun one to do although it did take me quite a while to figure out what color to actually do this face paint and um the wall paint i think that was uh, was actually suggested by my son that blue so it ended up working quite well so i was quite happy <laughs> i wasn't sure whether to keep the whole picture all in the warm tones but yeah i think it did need it did need a bit of a cool blue there to break things up so i'm really happy with how he turned out i think yeah there he is my kind of tribal shaman shaman i'm never sure how to say that word but yeah there he goes that's the first one that i colored this month and it, i was really pleased with how he turned out that's from Colouring Heaven Sorcerers and Sorceresses Special by Nalaki Shoemaker. This next guy is from a book called Effluescence by Thimsy Whimsy. Um, her Etsy store seems to be on a break at the moment, but I did manage to find the book on, on Amazon, Amazon UK. I'll link it in the description below. Um, the version I've got is actually PDF and I'm not exactly sure where I got it from. It was either given as a freebie during lockdown or I won it in a contest. I can't remember, I'm afraid, but yeah, the version I have is PDF. So I printed this guy out um, because I was asked to do a tutorial about white flowers. And because I was colouring men, it was quite hard to find a picture with men and flowers. It's quite a hard thing to find. And But this book does have quite a few of them. So yeah, it's, it's quite a good book. I do recommend it. Um, he was all... Yep, he was all, as usual, the marker base. And um, this was with mainly the Ahuhu skin tone markers um, to try and keep everything kind of in a warm tone again, aside from the background, which is blue. Seems to be the same kind of colour theme I had going on before. Um, yeah, I never noticed that, but yeah, this one was for the white flower tutorial. And yep, those white flowers are actually shaded. If we put it up close to the camera, my lamp does tend to wash out colours when I try and show really pale colours but you can see that the flowers are shaded with like cool grey and some blue and white gel pen for highlights um the rest the rest is shaded i think with my usual artisa castle arts maybe mainly castle arts i can't remember to be honest this background the, the blue kind of blue grey was a marker but it came out really splotchy i think it must be on the way out that marker so to cover that up i added this kind of gold stencil effect with some gold ink in the background there i think that worked in quite well this kind of leaf 
pattern that I thought would go well with the white kind of flowers we had going on there. And I've made this frame. Originally I was going to do it gold, but I thought that might be a bit too distracting. So I tried to make it look like some sort of dark wood. There's also some watercolour I've added there around the edges, basically to give a bit of background to the flowers. As I was going to do them white, it needed something in the background so they would stand out. So I added some kind of warm yellow ochre, sort of warm brown watercolour in the background there which again my lamp is washing out but <laughs> hopefully you can see get some sort of idea yeah I just added those behind the flowers so that would make them stand out a little bit more with them being white against the white paper they needed something there and that's about it for that one I think yeah it turned out quite nicely and there we go the next one that I've coloured is from the Witcher colouring book it's by CD Project Red and there's a few artists mentioned there um, I'm not sure which one actually drew the picture that I coloured, but yeah, those are the artists. And this one was a whip for absolutely ages, this one. Um, I got, I'll pop up a picture here for, for a moment. You can see, yeah, that was how it looked like. Well, it was a whip. And it was a whip for that long because I really don't like colouring trees or grass or, <laughs> or kind of landscapey kind of backgrounds. And that's where I kind of gotten myself and uh, I think I just got fed up with it and put it away but I did get my act together and sort him out so there we go this is what he's turned out looking like and I'm really happy with how it's turned out and this picture seemed to be quite popular on Instagram as well so yeah there we go he's a uh, he's got a marker background over pretty much everything there and uh, pencil shading castle arts Arteza there's lots of white gel pen just kind of sparkly effects because in this picture in well in the scene from the game Geralt is actually he's inside a magical storybook so this is kind of a fairy tale imaginary fairy tale land sort of so I wanted to make it look kind of dreamy and uh, imaginary sort of thing going on and there is lots of glitter as well I don't know if I can get that to get that to glitter but there is glitter on pretty much everything oh I don't really see some on the mushroom. There's glitter everywhere apart from one Geralt. <laughs> Just to make him kind of different from the environment, I thought. Everything. It never shows up on camera, does it? But yeah, everything is pretty much covered in glitter apart from our man Geralt there. Uh, so yeah, he's turned out rather well now. I actually pushed myself to finish it. Um, I added this arm here to make him. He's supposed to look like uh, the meme. I don't know if any of you... I've seen it where there's kind of an anime character who's holding out his arm like that, looking at a butterfly and saying, is this a pigeon? It's kind of a bubble, text bubble saying, is this a pigeon? And originally I was going to add that in, but I couldn't quite decide whether to or not. So for now I've left it and maybe that will get added at some future point. But, but yeah, for now I'm just happy to have him finished because, yeah, I'm so proud of myself for colouring coloring those trees. I really don't like colouring trees, but I did it. Yay! <laughs> There we go. And that one is from that one is from The Witcher adult colouring book, CD Project Red, various artists. Next we have another colouring heaven. This is Fantasy Figure Special by Maud Lemoyne. And the one I coloured is this one. And this guy was a little bit of a mixed media sort of project, <laughs> this guy. Um, I coloured the owl the same kind of way I coloured my white flowers, with exactly the same pencils, like light cool grey, dark cool grey, a little bit of blue, um, some white gel pen for outlines. Um, so yeah, that turned out looking pretty cool. Um, these clouds, I tried out my Arteza Expert watercolour pencils, which worked okay for these kind of small areas, I think, um, where there wasn't much blending involved. You can see there, they don't blend particularly well, but for small areas, yeah, I think that's fine. And I kind of shaded over the top of it again. Once it was dry, I shaded over the top. And I tried to use the, again, the watercolour pencils to colour this bit of sky up here. But, but because that was a much bigger area, the blending, yeah, that wasn't going very well at all. And I ended up actually ripping the paper because it just wasn't working. It was a complete disaster. So what I ended up doing was cutting out this area of the sky and just collaging in some kind of starry paper on the background there, you can see. Um, you can see the marker base on most of it, apart from the knot work. And I wanted to keep it a kind of 
steampunk sort of theme, sort of colour palette, um, which I kind of fell into. I didn't plan on it. All I knew what I wanted to do was the owl and the clouds, everything else just sort of fell into place. Um, with lots of metallic and sort of leather colours. Um, this is my castle arts gold and a gold combination there. There's some Dovecraft glitter glue, the purple. This is gold sharpie and copper sharpie, again with the metallic sharpies, I do love them. Um, yeah, everything else. Oh, this his hair is a uh, tutorial on the channel, how I do kind of um, dark blonde hair, so if anybody's interested in that. And again, the moon is glaring, I do apologise for that. Um, but things, I tried filming this once before with turning the lamp off and the lighting was just a disaster. So I'm hoping this one turns out <laughs> slightly better. Um, I'll just show you that. I tried to add some kind of texture to the metal and the leather down the bottom there. Don't look, making them look a bit more kind of worn, used. And I thought that turned out really nicely. Yeah, I was quite happy with how this one turned out. I really do like that colour palette. And um, yeah, I tried out a different colour for the moon. It's sort of a... Usually I use silver, but that one is sort of a a bluey green, kind of like a sea foamy green, very light teal sort of colour. And yeah, I think it works. In this, this picture it kind of works. I'm not sure whether I'd use it again, but for this picture it works. And yeah, before I forget, there's a there's a stick on crystal for his earring there, just for a little bit of bling for him. <laughs> for my little steampunk guy. So yeah, there we go. That one is from Fantasy Figures Special Colouring Heaven by Maud Lemoyne. The next one is from Wildflower Folk by Christine Karen. And you may have seen the series that I did on this guy, colouring this wizard guy on. He's basically colour all coloured on camera. Um, but I had to kind of abridge the videos because it was very, very long. It took a long time. He was basically done with the marker base for his skin and his clothes. And then he was shaded with Amazon Basics pencils because I got myself a set during um, Amazon Prime Day. I got myself a 48 set of the Amazon Basics pencils and used those to colour him. And they worked fairly well, yeah. Yeah, I have to say, yeah. Um, for budget pencils, I was really surprised for the price. They worked super well, so I was really quite happy with those. Um, he's got some Dovecraft gold glitter glue for the stars in his hat. And I think I didn't mention that he is actually based on Terry Pratchett's Discworld um, Rincewind, the wizard. And this guy really reminded me of Rincewind, I think, because of these stars on his hat. And because it actually said wizard here. Um, because in Discworld, Rincewind actually has wizard written on his hat, but spelt with two Z's, or Z's, <laughs> if it was in the US. So I've added added a second Z down there on his little scroll where it says a wizard. And that writing is with two different colours of glitter gel pen. There's a gold and a red to do the lettering. And the rest is Amazon Basics pencils, a white gel pen, and glitter glue. And there's a gold Sharpie to go around the edges of this frame that I drew in to kind of to kind of give an you know ground him I suppose give him an area of background there I could colour in and the background is with watercolour this is WH Smith watercolours that I usually use there's a black a Prussian blue and a cerulean blue kind of wet in wet worked into each other and just letting them do their own thing and spread out there to give some nice effects and then some white ink spattered on for the stars which I think worked really well. The blue contrasting with the red there, that works quite well. So yeah, I was really pleased with how he turned out, I think. <laughs> He's very sparkly, but then Rincewind is very sparkly. So yeah, there we go. That's my wizard from Wildflower Folk by Christine Karen. And the last picture I managed to finish, I actually finished this morning. <laughs> And on the morning of filming, this is the 1st of August, so I'm being a little bit cheeky, but I did finish it before I actually started filming the video. So, so yeah, I'm going to go for it and add it into this video. Um, this is Masters of the Universe Revelation Coloring Book. And we do have an artist. See if I can find him. Uh, Diego Weisberg. There we go. He's the artist. And the picture that I coloured is this one again with the trees. I don't know why I do this to myself. But yeah, another tree, but we won't we won't look too closely at it because it's it's just a lot of scribbling to try and indicate leaves up there. I think it kind of works, but we won't look too closely, okay. 
as for the rest of it yeah it's um again marker base for most of it there we go oh for all of it pretty much i think marker based shaded with castle art gold pencils this time and some white gel pen um for anyone who are fans of he-man you'll notice i did take a few liberties with skeletor's costume here originally i did marker it all in purple like a light kind of mauve color but it just just looked a bit too plain so i added some gold sharpie for these kind of bits of his you know the edges of his costume and did, did some sort of cheeky gold just to cover the purple um and i think it works quite well and i'm not exactly sure this is supposed to be glowing in, <laughs> but it just seemed to look as if it should so i went with it and i gave him a little glowing disc on his chest there which seems to work quite well um i did my my kind of usual pinky peachy clouds i did add a little bit of purple in them as well though down the bottom as a little bit of an experiment and uh, trying to match in the skeletal's purple and kind of costume a little bit better as well white gel pen around the edges of the clouds and for highlights and stuff again i tried to make the the textures like on the metal and the leather i I think it looks better, not so plain, but more interest to it, I think, personally. So yeah, I was quite happy with how that one turned out. And again, proud of myself for actually colouring a tree. <laughs> and that's the last picture that I actually finished this month. But I did end up with a few webs. Um, as usual, I have loads of ideas going on and not enough time to finish them. And this is the first one. This is from the Dragon Age colouring book, which I have on PDF. I think it was given out at some point, maybe last year, to like celebrate an anniversary of the game or something. So I have it on PDF anyways. Um, and this is the guy that I printed out that I was going to colour, but again, I got bogged down in the grass, doing the backgrounds with the trees and the grass. Kind of overcame me a little bit and I put him to one side so, so I could get back myself back into a mindset for doing the backgrounds. <laughs> rocks rocks i don't mind too much but the grass and the trees yeah it really puts me off um but yeah i think it would be a really cool picture once it's finished i can see it when it's finished and i have a vision but yeah it's getting around to all that background that's going to put me off on that one but yeah that's from the dragon age coloring book i'm not sure of the artist i'm afraid it's probably various artists like most of these uh, video game coloring books but if i can find out i'll pop that in the description so that one is from the dragon age coloring book this next one I started is from Gods and Goddesses Special Colouring Heaven by Jash Lee. And this is one that I've actually changed quite heavily. So I'll pop a picture up here. This is not how it actually was at the beginning. It's after, you know not long after I started kind of changing it. You'll see there's wings going on there and a bit of a scythe. And he did actually have a beard, but the character I want to change him to didn't have a beard. So yeah, I'm changing him to a book character again. <laughs> And this guy I am changing to, if anybody has um, read the Dragonlance Chronicles, this guy is Raslin, or Raslin, however you say it. My, my other half says Raslin, I say Raslin. Um, yeah, the Red Mage. It is in his red face. Um, that's why the Red Moon I've done in the middle, uh, covering up this kind of clock face. I've turned it into a Red Moon. This is done with gouache paint. Um, this is black acrylic. I've just turned into a night sky to get rid of the wings and the scythe because Racing has a staff that is, I think it's a dragon's claw that's kind of holding a crystal. So I've just kind of chopped off the scythe and turned it into staff. I had to try and get rid of his beard. And the guy does have kind of gold coloured skin. So that is how it's supposed to be in case anyone's wondering. But yeah, um, I'm quite pleased with how he's turning out. Oh, this is a blue acrylic paint pen. Um, I can't remember what was down the side there, but that's blue acrylic paint pen, black acrylic, gouache paint. And I think I put that one to, its, to the side so it could dry. And then I kind of moved on to other things and I haven't been back to it, but I really want to get him finished because as soon as I saw this guy, he reminded me for some reason of Raceland, even though he had a beard and Raceland doesn't have a beard. He has scythe racing stuff. I don't know. For some reason, he reminded me of Raceland, so that's who he's going to be. And for anyone who does read the book, I've even turned his eyes into an hourglass shape. I don't know if you can see that there. But yeah, there we go. That's the one I've started from Gods and Goddesses Special by Jash Lee. I think he's supposed to be Kronos. Yes, <laughs> I've crossed it out for Raceland. But yeah, there we go. That's Gods and Goddesses special. 
And last one that I started, some of you may have seen already in my, um, was it in my newest colouring books or something? Yeah, it was in my recently purchased colouring books, but this is the one that I started in here. This guy here, kind of evil looking guy. Um, and I've done lots of rocks there, I love colouring rocks. But that was like a whole day, I think, pretty much. <laughs> it was a good five or six hours colouring rocks and I needed a break, so I put them away and got distracted by something along the way, probably. And so, yeah, that's how he's been left. But he's going to be, yeah, it's going to look really good when he's done, I think. I do love colouring skulls. Um, he's going to have black wings, hopefully, and kind of a burgundy red hair. And I'm kind of torn on whether to make this background kind of a glowing, kind of fiery red or not. Uh, I'm not entirely sure on that, and then have that reflecting on the edges of his wings and these kind of silver chains. But yeah, that's how far I got with his one, that one. I just needed to break from the rocks. <laughs> but yeah, coming along quite well. So I'm quite pleased with that, how that's coming. And the last one is my long-standing whip I have in Made the Graphic Colour and Discover Magical Earth. Um, this one's also in my uh, recent books video. There we go, it's his tortoise at the beginning. And yeah, I put that aside for a while because I wasn't happy with how these vines were looking. But now that I've looked at them again, I think they're not too bad. I think uh, as long as this one stays pretty light as it goes over that grass, uh, it should turn out okay. But I do like how the grass and the rocks have turned out. Yeah, I quite enjoyed coloring those. I do like coloring rocks. It is quite a challenge trying to figure out whether the light from each of these lanterns is going to be reflecting. It's, but yeah, there's, there's actually not that much to be done on that one now. Once all this uh, kind of cool grey tortoise is done, I think there won't be much at all, just a little girl and the flowers. So yeah, I should really get myself in gear and get that one finished. Because I'm really happy with how it looks so far. And uh, that is the last week that I worked on this month. I worked on, um, as I said, the grass and the rocks. That's what I coloured on that one this month. Um, so, yeah. And for next next month's theme, it, as I've said, it, it's going to be a really crazy month. Um, Coupled with the last two weeks of the month, I'm going to be going up to Wales to visit my parents. So I, I won't really have any internet access. So there won't be any videos being made, I don't think, and put up. Uh, so I'll try and get as much colouring done as I can, but yeah, uh, I don't know exactly how much will be done during August. So hopefully you guys can bear with me if it's a bit of a light month colouring wise. Um, but the theme that I've chosen for next month is actually the colour your hoard. I'm going to try and concentrate on colouring in my uncoloured books. Or um, if I have a book with a whip in it, I'll try and finish that. If that's the only thing in the book is just one whip, I'll try and finish that to have a finished page in the book. So that's my theme to colour in as many uncoloured books as I can. Um, there might be other odd pictures thrown in as well. And I'll try and do a video at the weekend about all my all the uncoloured books that I do have, so to give myself a bit of an overview and uh, have some idea where I'm going to go. But yeah, hopefully we'll get a few videos out before I disappear off up to Wales. <laughs> and if any of you are going off on holiday, hope you have a really great time. Yeah, enjoy yourself and hope the weather holds out for you. <laughs> I'm hoping the weather holds out for me actually. But anyway, thank you for watching everybody. Take care, enjoy your summer and I'll see you in future videos. Bye!